Hayden cooks a lot. Today I'm going to be making some steamed broccoli with some fresh lemon. So before we get started, make sure your hair is up, nothing's on your hands or wrists. You have uh, your sleeves rolled up and your hands are washed really well. So underneath my cutting board, I have three silicone hot pads. And that's to help prevent my cutting board from moving around. Um, if you don't have those, you can use a damp paper towel that you lay out flat across the bottom of your cutting board. I'm going to be using a chef knife today. Make sure when you're holding it, your middle finger goes all the way up here. You wrap your hand around it. First finger is bent. And then on the back side, my thumb is right here. As I go to hold it, remember a chef knife, the blade is lower than the handle. Okay. So I bought a uh, broccoli crown at the grocery store, and this is the biggest broccoli crown I have ever seen. So a crown means that they didn't leave you the big long stems on there. It just means they chopped the top of it off. So there are some stems on here though, and the stems are edible. Um, usually people will peel off the outside of the stem and the center of it is more tender. So I'm gonna, I already washed this, and I'm gonna flip it upside down. And I'm gonna use my chef knife and I'm gonna be cutting off these uh, broccoli florets, okay, like this. And then after I get them off of this stem area, then I can break these down a little bit farther. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so this right here can go in your compost or you can actually start peeling off the outer layers of it and then the center is edible. Okay, I am going to stand these up uh, so the bottoms are up and I'm going to cut down to separate these into smaller pieces. And I'm going to leave some of this uh, stem part on. I'm gonna cut a little bit of it off. I'm gonna leave some of the stem part on because that is tender. Okay, so I'll cut that part off. I'm gonna put that in my compost pile and then I'm just cutting down to break these up into uh, smaller, you know, fork size pieces. So you have a piece that you can stab your fork with and then put right into your mouth. Now, if you don't wanna cut this and you're working with little kids, you can just have them grab the floret and break it right off. So this might be fun for little kids to help you with. Just don't give the little kid a knife, okay? So I'm gonna keep on breaking these down into smaller pieces, and then we're going to put them into our steamer basket. Broccoli is extremely nutritious for you. It's a cruciferous vegetable, so it actually helps to fight cancer cells that can form in your body. Full of fiber, full of lots of healthy nutrients for you. All right, so here we go. And I got this one here still to do. All right, that's pretty good. I'm going to give my hands a rinse because I have little pieces of broccoli on them. And this is our steamer basket. So when you get it, it's collapsed like this. It has little feet on the bottom of it. And then you open this up, okay? And this will fit into your pot. So like if you have a smaller pot, as long as this base will go in there, then the sides would be like that. With a larger pot, they would open up like this, okay? And then the center part goes up. Okay, so in the bottom of my big pot here, since I have a lot of broccoli, I already have one inch of water that I put in the bottom here. And you need to make sure that when you are steaming, the water does not go up to the bottom of the basket. So your water should be down here where the feet are. So the basket is above the water. So I'm gonna set the basket in here and I'm going to grab my broccoli and I'm going to put it on top, kind of like this, I'm scattering it around on top of the basket. And when you go to steam something, you're gonna be bringing this water up to a boil, adding a lid to the top of it, and then you're gonna let it steam where um, as the water is boiling, the vapors of the water are gonna come up through those holes in the basket and it's going to steam your broccoli. And you'll know it's finished when your broccoli is fork tender. Okay, so 
I'm going to prep my lemon now. So that's ready for me to have with my meal. So I'm gonna give my cutting board a rinse. I don't need to scrub it with soap because it was just broccoli on there for me to start working my lemon. So the lemon, this is actually an organic lemon. It came in this bag here. I save these little bags, these mesh bags, they come in, you can actually wad this up and it can, you can put soap on there and use this as a scrubby in a pot like this that's not a nonstick pot. So like a metal pot, you can use this as a scrubby. This also can be uh, cut up and um, you can have kids do crafts with it. Uh, so they could put this down on top of paper and then, and then pat paint on top of it and then lift this off and leave a design. This might make little curtains for like a dollhouse. There's lots of different things you could do with that. So I'm going to take this lemon here, and if this is the top and bottom of the lemon, I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna hold on to this lemon so it doesn't move, and I'm gonna rainbow over the top of it, so I'm holding it in between so it doesn't wobble back and forth, and I'm gonna cut just next to the center of it. I'm gonna cut down, and the reason why I do that, it leaves this little center of membrane inside, so then when I go to cut this into a wedges, I don't have that little membrane in the way when I want to go and uh, squeeze this onto whatever it is that I'm going to be eating. So the juice comes out a little bit better. You can also, if you see the little seeds, you can pop them out. So I'm gonna go down the next side of this and then the next side and then right here. Okay, so that's the center of the lemon. There's nothing wrong with this. You can save this for your hot tea or iced tea or whatever. But again, it makes it so it's easier for you to squeeze your lemons so that membrane's not in the way and you can pop out your little seeds. So this is ready for me for when I want to squirt that onto my broccoli. All right, I'm going to pause and then move the computer around so you can see me steaming at the stove. Okay, so I have my burner on high heat. Remember, we have about an inch of water at the bottom of the pan. I have a lid on my pot. And I have my oven mitt because my lid will be hot. And I'm checking in here. My water is almost at a boil right now. And you can see some of the condensation starting to collect on the lid here. Okay, and I want to make sure that lid fits on here tight. And now it's at a rapid boil. Remember, a rapid boil is like, -hoo 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 -hoo, the water's gone crazy in the pot. Okay, so the steam coming off of that boiling water is coming up through the holes of that basket to cook my nutritious broccoli. So I'm gonna let this go about five minutes and then I'm gonna check with my fork to see if it's pork tender. While that's going, I'm making some lunch. So I have here some Italian chicken sausages with no nitrates, no nitrites in it. And so they're a little healthier for us. And I'm just browning these up um, in my cast iron skillet. So I warmed up my cast iron skillet over a medium low heat for a good several minutes um, until I can feel that heat when I hovered my hand over it. I sliced up these sausages and I just put them right in the pan. And um, I did not need to add any extra oil to this. And the sausages were at room temperature, so I pulled them out of my refrigerator and let them sit out for about an hour before I did this. You don't want to put cold meat in a hot pan. It's going to sit, okay? So you let it come to room temperature. So I'm just sauteing these up a little bit, and I'm going to get them golden brown to go with my broccoli for lunch. I'll be back. Okay, it's been five minutes. Oven mitt on. Lift off the lid. Make sure when you're lifting it, you lift away from your face. Okay, that's looking good. So I'm gonna turn off my burner. The broccoli should be finished. I have my little plate here and I'm gonna pull up a piece of broccoli. It is fork tender, okay? It has turned bright green. So when I stab it with my fork, it's definitely tender going in. Okay, so I have here a few items I thought would be good with the broccoli. Oh, I can't show you. Okay, well, let's see here. I have some salt. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on my piece. I have some black pepper I'm gonna grind on. And then I have some, it says roasted sesame seed. I don't know why it says roasted. It should say toasted sesame seed on the bottle. But anyway, 
uh, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on there. And then I'm gonna take my lemon and squeeze the lemon across the broccoli and then give it a taste. It should be, whoop, uh oh, one just fell on the floor. All right, let's see here. Mmm. Mmm. Just right. Not mushy. It's tender, but not mushy. I don't like mushy vegetables. So remember, your broccoli is very, very good for you. Broccoli is full of, let me see, it has fiber, has vitamin C, it has iron, it has something else in it. What's the other thing? Potassium, I think. Anyway, very good for you. Eat your broccoli. Thanks for joining me.